and a local war hero whose life served as an inspiration to many received a deserving memorial service on Saturday. WENY's Brandon Menard was in Ithaca, where Florence Finch was remembered and celebrated by many. A service was held on Saturday to honor the life and legacy of Florence Finch. Finch, who passed away in December at the age of 101, lived a life of selflessness and compassion. Right out of high school, she joined the U.S. Army and was stationed in the capital of the Philippines, Manila. After the attack on Pearl Harbor, the Japanese took over Manila. Finch, who was half American and half Filipino, was able to hide her American connections and trick Japanese forces into giving her a job distributing fuel. While undercover, Finch diverted fuel supplies to the resistance and even arranged acts of sabotage. Along with several others, Finch also helped smuggle food and medicine to prisoners of war. Eventually, these acts would get her caught and sentenced to three years hard labor. I asked her how she survived being a prisoner of war, squatting like that with you know, barely any food. And she said that she would say to herself again and again, I will survive. And she did. After being liberated in 1945, Finch moved to New York and joined the Coast Guard. There, she became the first woman to be awarded the Asiatic Pacific Campaign Ribbon for her service in the Philippines. When she was discharged in 1946, she was awarded the Medal of Freedom. But to Finch, it was never about the praise or recognition. She never was... Um got any kind of a big head about any of this stuff and, and always just felt she did what she needed to do. And, and uh, Just uh, another day in the life of Florence yeah. Finch. Even though Mrs. Finch is gone, her memory still lives on. Her acts of compassion, kindness, selflessness, and heroism will live on in the lives of others forever. Reporting in Ithaca, Brandon Menard, WENY News.